I'll show you how to use the TI-84 for making sine function models. Um, so we'll take um, a data set here from an exercise in the book and we will enter the data into um, the TI-84 and see if we can uh, make a suitable sine function model for it. Um, where the data is entered is in the in the stat section here so if you press stat and we want to edit the list so we just press enter so here in list one we will enter our yeah well we'll enter the month uh, number and in list two we will enter the temperature here so i just go um, i just go one two, three, etc. for the month. Almost there. Yeah, that's it. So we'll go to list two and enter the temperature data. So that would be 15, 14, 15 again, 18, 21, like that. So now I entered all the data and we want to um, we want to find a suitable sign function for these data here and that means we will actually use some um, regression method for this uh, and um, uh, we will go to stat again and we will do a calculation and from here we can see if we can find sign regression um, it's there so press enter um, what you should pay attention to is where does it take the data from list one and two that is what where we want it um, you might also want it to store the equation for further use so we can um, tell it to store the uh, the regression equation as as a variable y1 or any other variable um, when you're done choosing these options here you can press calculate and it will give you the function well this sort of looks a bit odd so it could be fun to see how it uh, how the function looked uh, towards the data set so um, if you go to stat plot here, so that means you press second and y equals, you get to the stat plots. They are turned off right now, so we can't see them. So we want to turn plot one on. And we press enter for choosing on. Uh, right now it shows as a scatter plot, which is just fine. It takes list one and two. So if we, um, do a graph now we should also see the y1 together with the plot um, and I should have chosen a specific zoom for this but I can I'll show you right afterwards right now we can't see a thing uh, so press zoom and choose zoom stat then it fits uh, it fits the window to the data set so here we go so that's the, the scatter plot together with the uh, the sign function of best fit to the data and that one was no, uh, six point something sign 
something <laughs> x plus something or minus something in this case and plus something so it has the correct shape or the correct look um, yeah that's about it